So I heard about Seesaw from a colleague. Um, it may have been Cindy Compton. She was saying that there was this platform called Seesaw, and um, I, I wanted to check it out. So I, I one day I just set it out in front of the kids, and we kind of looked at it together over, through the projector, and um, they, they were really excited immediately. And so I, I thought, I'm gonna, this is something I wanna look more into. So what it is, it's, it's a digital portfolio, and the kids can submit work, um, math, reading, writing, and they can do videos, they can take pictures of their work and explain. And I think the, the biggest thing that I like about it is that it, it allows the kids to explain their work, um, and, it, and it allows me to go home, because I can access this from any device, and, and I can sit at home where it's quiet and I can watch a student read and I can see the kinds of mistakes that they're making and it'll help guide my instruction when I meet with them for small group. Um, it'll, it'll show me when they're solving a problem they can do a drawing and explain a math problem. It'll, it'll show me any misconceptions that they have and um, that'll help me for the next lesson that I'm going to teach. And then I put this star because I wanted to write about it. It's me and my family at the beach, so I'm going to read it right now. I had fun at the beach. We had so much fun. We got to make a sand castle. Um, so this is the website here, and it's it's very secure. It comes with um, a lot of settings that you can change. So I'll, I'll kind of show you where I go into my, there's different views. This is the feed view where it will show everything that's from every student. Um, when the kids log in, they use the QR code that's up, and they just scan it, and then it'll it'll they'll just see the feed view, but they only can see their work. They can't see unless you allow them to. There's a setting where you can allow them to see. But over here, uh, it'll show the student who submitted it. Um, parents also can sign up and see their kids work live, which I like. So if the parents are at home and they their student submits some, their child submits something, they'll get an alert that they can log in right there at real time. There's the calendar that will show me each day of the month and how many items were submitted. So on Wednesday the 2nd, yesterday there were six items submitted. It'll kind of give me a, a thumbnail view of, of what they are. Um, it'll notify me like today, we just had a session for a half hour with the entire class working. So it'll, it'll alert me that there's 30 unapproved items. I just click and I can approve it or delete it. And so I'll watch it take a look at it. If I want to do something to it, it'll allow me to edit. It'll allow me to add people who I want to see it. I can share it. I can download it. Okay. okay. And now you're going to go behind Aaron. See how I'm like this behind him? And then I can take the video. Okay. No. Okay, you're gonna go like that and hit the record with your thumb. Hit it. And then keep your video on the book. Aaron, read nice and loud. I am Sam. I did it. Okay, it's processing. Now you're gonna say, yep. Hit the arrow again. And then you're gonna find Aaron's name. There it is. Click on his name. And there. 
and it was reading, so it goes in the reading folder. And then you're going to hit the video camera, and you're going to record him reading. Also make a comment. This feature I really love because if you have students that like I do in first grade who are at very low reading levels, maybe not even reading yet, I can do an audio comment where I click and record my comment so they can hear what I'm saying if they can't read it. Um, and they love this. They'll, they'll, they'll go into their journal and they'll look to see the feedback. And what's really cool, and it's only been a month that I've been using it, is I already have kids going in after they've listened to a comment and they've submitted more work using the feedback that I've given them. And then anything that I see in the feed view that, that I think would be beneficial for the other kids to see, these are videos, so they take a few minutes to come up. Sometimes you can do pictures, like here's one. If I want, I've already liked it, but let's say I want to flag it and I want to put it where other kids can, can see it. I go down here, right now it's only in Brian's journal. If I go down here, I can edit who sees it. And I think everyone should see that because it's really beneficial. So then I just say everybody. And then now it will be displayed on all the kids' journals. So in a nutshell, I think that this is probably, I mean, I've been teaching 14 years. This is probably the um, best platform for student work. And it's not just an app, it's, it's creativity, it's your, the kids are producing the work, they're talking about the work, they're presenting the work to others, and that goes right along with um, all the Common Core standards and, and what we expect even six-year-olds to do, because my kids are doing it, and I'm, I'm offering very little help for them to do it. So.